We are going to take a uh, inventor model that we made and we want to be able to cut out the faces on a laser cutter. Okay, so essentially this is a situation where we have a laser cutter, we know how to use inventor, uh, and we're trying to do a workflow to uh, go from inventor to a flat pattern of faces, right? So we want this, 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 all so we can cut it out in like, you know, thick cardboard, wood, uh, plastic, uh, you know, like a Delrin or something like that. So create a situation where we can actually make things from Inventor and then have them laser cut. Okay, so here is the process. Now there are other processes that are quicker, um, but this is a good process for beginners. And as long as it's not too, too, too complicated, I think it's pretty efficient. Okay, so let's, get, let's take a look here. All right, so this assumes that we have Inventor, uh, Autodesk Inventor installed, Autodesk AutoCAD installed, both of which you can get free from Autodesk. And then we have our printer for the, uh, we have the software that goes along with our laser printer, all right? Okay, so we have our model here in Inventor, and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start to export the faces, okay? So we're gonna choose this face, I'm gonna click on it, right click, export face as. Okay, and notice that we have a couple options. We're gonna do the DXF right now. Okay, um, and we're gonna just choose a folder to put them in. Okay, so we want to put them in their own folder all at all at one time. Okay, so I'm just gonna number them. So one, save. Then I'm gonna click and then right click, export face as two, save, and then we're gonna go down on the bottom. Okay, click to select and then right click, export face as three, save. And then we're going to do the opposite side. Okay, click, right click, export face as, for save. Then we're going to go ahead and do both ends. Click, right click, export face as, five, save. And then we're going to click on the other end. Click, right click, export face as. And we're doing six, you know, DXF, save. And now we're going to go ahead and do the inside, okay? Click, right click, export face as, seven, save, okay? And then we're going to turn a little bit, click, right click, export face as, eight, uh, and save. And I'll tell you that uh, I, I was making mistakes uh, by not clicking. So what would happen was if I, I would just try to right click to go a little bit faster and what would happen is I would uh, basically get two exports of the same face because the last thing would be, uh, the last face I did would still be uh, uh, selected. Okay, so here we go. Click, left click, I'm gonna right click. Okay, so we click to select, click to select the face, whoops. Click to select, right click, export face as, we're up to nine. Okay, and then we're gonna click to select, right click, last one, we're gonna export face as in 10. Okay, and save. Okay, so we've exported all of our DXF files. Okay, so we have all the faces saved at this point. Now we're gonna go into Autodesk, all right? And uh, there we can see that, uh, that basically we've just opened Autodesk. Now what we're gonna do, we got kind of two ways we can do it. We can either do one at a time Okay, or we can open them all at once and then copy and paste the lines in. I opt for the open them at all time, one at all at a time. Okay, so there's two ways to do it. I'm going to show you one way to do it. All right, so we're going to drag them all now. So the thing is that if I have an open file and I drag one file on, it essentially copies in all of the lines. Okay, if I have multiple files selected and drag them onto the interface, it opens them as individual files. Okay. Let's take a look at what I'm not going to do. Okay, so if I have one open, right? If I have like a one DXF open, so that's our first face, and I drag in two DXF, watch what happens. Notice it's stuck to my mouse. Okay, when I click, it now wants me to give an X scale factor. So I have to hit Enter for one, and then I have to hit Enter to use the same scale factor for Y. Then I have to click again. Okay, so that's you know that's a drag. It's a you know. Uh, one, then an enter. So, and then I have to go back in here. So this is not how I like to do it. All right. So we're going to go ahead and, and hit undo there, and we're going to go ahead and close the one. Now you could do that one by one. Okay. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to just drag them all in at one time. Okay. So we're going to drag, select all ten files, 
and drag them all over and they're going to open up all at one time into uh, AutoCAD. Okay? Then I'm going to just kind of copy them in one by one. I'm going to copy them all into one DXF. Okay? I could make a new file also, but, but in this case I want you to just leave one DXF just we're just going to copy them all in. So how I'm going to do this is I'm going to click on the thing next to it. Okay, it doesn't matter what number it is. I'm going to do Control A to select all, Control C to copy. I'm going to go back to the, the file I'm keeping and do Control V. Okay, that sticks it to my mouse and then I just have to click and it's there. Okay, and then I close the file I just worked on and answer no. Go to the next one, Control A, Control C, click into one DXF, Control V to paste, click to place and then close the one I just did, okay? And I just keep going, Control A, Control C, Control V, and place it, and close. Control A, Control C, Control V, click to place, close. Control A, Control C, Control V, place, and close. Control A, Control C, up, Control V, and click, and then close. Okay, Control A, Control C, Control V, click to place, and close. Control A, Control C, Control V. and close. Control A, Control C, Control V, click to place, and close the last one. Okay, so the, by doing, by using that method of just open them all at once, I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Um, okay, it, it only allows me to save, well, sorry, it gives me some options to save it, all right? I'm gonna save it as both. Okay, so I'm going to save it as a DWG file just for future use. Okay, in this case I'm going to call it Puzzle DWG. I'm also going to go file. Uh, oops. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do here, uh, and we can save it as a DWG file at that point. All right. We could also export it as a DWG. Just D DXF. In some cases, can go straight into a laser cutter. That's why we use that file type. Anyway, so we saved it as a DWG. That's fine. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to select all. Okay. So these lines are not going to work in the laser cutter. Okay. So in the laser cutter software that I'm using and most people have, is that um, it's the it's a VLS uh, six uh, laser cutter. Um, you have to the it it's. The laser is powered based upon the color of the line. Okay, so we, we have to, the very first thing we're gonna do is change it to a color that is vector, okay? In, in my case, it's red. Okay, it can't be any red, right? It can't be this red or this red or this red. It has to be just your basic red color, okay? And what that means is that red is 255, everything else is zero, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the, uh, the width of the lines. I'm gonna get it set to zero, 0, 0.0 millimeters, right? Okay. The last thing I'm going to do, okay, so that is it in, uh, in uh, Autodesk. We're going to go head up and we're going to go, uh, we're just going to basically print it. So we're going to go to Autodesk, the A, we're going to go print, and then we're going to select our printer, which should be installed. In this case, it's VLS 6. We're going to accept the default size of landscape. We're going to click OK. Okay, and it printed. Now it doesn't show up, but notice in the system tray that we get this, UC, uh, this UCP, so Universal Control Panel. So if we open that, basically now we can see that it's ready to print. All right. Now based upon your material, you know this gets you uh, this gets you to the point where you have the the file, the lines in there that are ready to print. They'll print as uh, as vectors. So if we go into settings, what we're really looking for. Is that is that we have a red or blue line that can be used as a vector, okay? Because it's much, much, much quicker to cut vectors. Okay, so that's our process. Uh, once you have this cut out, you can reassemble it, and you should get something that looks like your original uh, Autodesk Inventor a 3D model. Uh, good luck.